today we're doing a few bits to the RX-8 so we're going to start by doing the actual rust on the seals what we've got quite angle grinder with the preparation bit which will just take all the paint and rust off the metal itself without actually doing any damage to the metal work so at least we can knock back and see how far this grinds uh, see how far back the rust goes on there see what actually needs repairing so the parts we'll be doing to start with let's chuck you under here all this section we're just going to take the paint back with this little seal part we're going to take that off on both sides so I can't imagine that's going to do much good imagine it's going to start retaining moisture and create even more rust yeah for now we're just going to take back all of this rust all around the arch lining as well and just see how far that rust actually goes I might actually have to take the lining off because that's getting tucked inside there but that's what we're going to start doing first we probably can do a few more videos today to be fair try getting oil change in got some new coils for it probably bang some new coils on there as well and i've got the air compressor so i'll probably go to the engine bay and try blasting the dust out and bits like that but we're gonna do them in all separate videos so you'll see them kind of posted separately but yeah we'll chuck this on a uh, on a time lapse and we'll get started So that, <laughs> the rust on the back is a lot worse than I thought it was. I thought I could have got away with actually leaving the wheel on and grinding along there, but it goes so far back, that's not gonna happen. So we're gonna have to get the actual stands and jack it up. I don't have the actual stands on me at the moment, like my parents' house. So I'm gonna have to go and collect them from my parents' house and then give that another crack. Um, what I can do is the bit on the front of the sill, on the other side as well, it's just the rear on the sill that needs doing. Not as bad as this. This was the worst part of the car. So I thought we'll crack on with that bit first. Um, yeah. So the battery's completely flat, so that's inside charging at the moment. We're gonna wait till we can get enough charge on that battery so I can at least pull it on uh, some stands at the front. Uh, it won't be actual stands, they're a couple of kind of ramps we can drive it onto. So we're gonna wait for the battery to charge a bit, get it on the ramps at the front, so I can at least get underneath and start attacking the rust on that front sill and kind of see how far back that goes. That's no way near as bad as what that back one is. And then same for the other side, we're gonna to have to get it up on axle stands, take that rear wheel off so we can see the full extent and take out that uh, the wheel lining because that's not helping at all whatsoever. So we're gonna So yeah, for some reason GoPro cut me off with talking. So yeah, we're gonna take we're gonna have to take the rear wheels off, so we're gonna have to actually stand both of the rear ones up. Um, can't be done today, gonna have to get it from my parents' house, so we'll do that another day. Um, just need to charge the battery up so we can get the car started. We're gonna drive the front onto uh, some ramps, just so I can get underneath the front and check out the front seal. We're gonna grind away at that, see how bad that is. The front isn't always as bad as what the, the rear right is. Rear left isn't as bad either as the rear right, but we're gonna have to jack it up on actual stands to get to that side. But yeah, we're gonna get that side up, do some grinding on there, and see what that side's like. And then from there, we're gonna see how much willpower we have left after seeing the amount of rust on that rear. But yeah, we're, we're, we'll see how far we can keep them cracking, but we can go that now. So let's go check on the battery, and we'll see that's got enough charge in there for it. So a few more bits we've done. I saw that was completely rusted through. Can we get a good shot on there? Saw that had a nice bit of rust patch to be said. We can just change that, which we probably will. We've taken most of the bolts off anyway, so that can just pop off. Just the bump needs to come off, which ain't too too long. Um, the only reason I took this off, those bolts, I think they're actually gone now, but those bolts that were holding 
building, two bolts on there holding that wing on. They were completely gone. I had to get the uh, special tools out to get the rounded nuts off because they were completely rusted on there. So the only reason I did that is when I kept knocking it, the amount of dirt that kept falling out of here, the amount of animals is insane. Said so that, give it a bit of shake. You still see behind there, there's a lot of, a lot of shit. All muck stuck on there. I thought I'd get that off now because that's not going to help with the rust, it's going to make it 10 times worse. So those wings will need to be replaced at some point. He's battered anyway, as you can see. But I just wanted to get all this stuff out of here. I felt like David Atom. Nice. I felt like David Attenborough going through all of this amount of bugs that were coming out. Um, but yeah, did that on the other side as well. The other side weren't as too bad. But still, I thought I'd get it done because it's still holding a bunch of crap in there, which is going to make the rust even worse because it's just moist as anything that dirt is. We've got half the ground in there. Um, couldn't get to the front, battery still. It's going through a repair phase on the actual battery charger. Um, so that's going to take absolutely ages. So look, we're jacking it up today. We'll probably do that on Wednesday when I'm off. So we get that all sorted. We'll try and get another look so you can see what we're actually dealing with. I'm not quite sure how much you can see. There he is. That's the bad boy down there. So we need to uh, grind all that away, cut out the bad bits, see what we need. Hopefully it's just a flat plate that can go in and make life easier. And then with that lip, we're just gonna take all the protection off, come all the way down here. They've got rust on that part of it. Let's grind all of that down. That's where we've cut out that was all battered anyway but yeah we're gonna have to jack this side up high enough so i can really get under there and really get some work going to it but yeah we'll give you a little update when that happens you know when you feel like you've bitten off more than you chew that's the situation i'm in right now so yeah wish me luck all right all right that's what we've ended up with so we sprayed it in some red oxide primer paint just to cover the bare metal bits of the time being but that's the first section we're going to fill in so we're going to cut out we're not going to make it look pretty or neat or anything we're not going to kind of bring it down to go straight across we're probably just going to get a flat panel which will fit straight on there but that's the first section along there and then that section in there we'll get that welded on so that needs to be pretty and then from there we'll probably look to patch up can we get a bit? there we go just that section there so cut out a section get that welded in there and then the final one on this side is that large body panel along there so that's going to be a long strip along there and then from the body panel we're going straight down again we're not going to care too much i don't care there's going to be a curve to a metal it will probably be just dead flat straight and down it doesn't matter how it looks it's a drift project car but that's that section after taking the wheel off well, it looks a mess in there isn't it and also i found that so that's another part we're going to have to do look at fixing that just get it past the mot but We'll probably, probably take, to take these off because I know the rubbers will be changing soon so we can take them off, give them a clean up, see how much replacements are. They need a good clean as well. Well, this is the other section. So I did find a tiny little patch in there we need doing. So I cut a tiny little bit out. And just weld that in there. I don't know if the screwdriver fell right through. And then along there. Just that long strip that needs doing. So we've got to go and get a sheet of metal now. And get some cardboard, get some templates fit on there. Get that cut out again, it's got red oxide primer. Just keep that covered. You don't feel too bad. I might chuck some up there as well. But yeah, it's gonna be the next steps. 
I wish I could have had this, uh, this one up higher. But Jack went going too high on that one. But that's, that's going to be the next steps. So we're going to go grab some metal, get that cut out, and then tomorrow we're going to start welding. So wish me luck on that one.